Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you. So in this video, let us discuss about dark field microscopy. So firstly, let us discuss about the principle. It is a technique which eliminates scattered light from the sample image. This yields an image with a dark background around the specimen and it is essentially and is essentially the complete opposite of the bright field. So the primary imaging of the dark field technique is to enhance the contrast of unstained sample. So what you understand by this is that normally uh, when you uh, normally from here the observer will look the image of the unstained sample and how the image will be formed. You know uh, what I have said in bright field microscopy it is quite opposite to this dark field microscopy is quite opposite to the bright field microscopy. I already explained the bright field microscopy the link will be given in the description box. So what happens in this dark field microscopy is that the image which will be formed the image the part of the the part of the sample will be very bright but the surrounding region of that sample will be very dark because because of the obstructor what is that obstructor I am going to say you later but if you see the case of bright field microscopy the you know the image the here in bright field microscopy we will use stained sample but in dark field microscopy we will use unstained sample so what is the main difference between stained sample and unstained sample is that unstained sample is nothing but staining process will not take place to that sample we will not stain that sample I mean uh, you will not kill that sample but if you see in that case of bright field microscope the it the organism will get stained so when it gets stained immediately it becomes specimen that's nothing but it will lead to death and it becomes a specimen so finally what did you understand by this in bright field microscopy we will use specimen and in this dark field microscopy we will not use specimen we will use directly unstained sample okay so now now here what i'm going to say is that we will use unstained sample here but what is the main main principle of this dark field microscopy is that the image in the in the image of this unstained sample how you can see in the observer by the observer normally he will look uh, he will look at this unstained sample through the microscope and what we'll observe is that uh, the part of that sample will be very bright but whereas the surrounding region will be very dark whereas in the case of light microscope you know or else bright field microscope the center the center region or else you know the, the sample region will be very dark but the surrounding region will be very bright which is quite opposite to this dark field microscopy so that's what given in this principle it is a technique which eliminates the scattered light from the sample image this yields an image with a dark background so the image the dark the background of the background of this image will be very very dark very dark whereas the whereas the you know the region of the sample will be very bright and it is essentially the complete opposite to the bright field microscope in this image so here the background will be very bright but the region of the sample will be very dark in the case of bright field microscopy so this is about the dark field microscopy which you have to understand so coming to the uh, you know phenomena i mean the how the mechanism of this dark field microscopy takes place so you know about the light source where the light will get exhibited out and that light will reach us up to the opaque disc and this here opaque disc plays a major role and this only indicates the difference between dark field microscopy as well as the bright field microscopy in bright field microscopy we will not use this opaque disc but in the dark field microscopy we will use opaque disc why will you use this opaque disc because of the obstruction of the light so here you know about the disc right uh, to take the example of the opaque disc uh, normally we will use disc right for uh, for looking at the movies or etc we will use discs right and this will be the shape of the disc where the center region will be open and the remaining region will be closed so when you when you uh, when you you know when you send the light from up to here then what happens this will reject the surrounding region of the disc will reject the light because it is opaque so there uh, so the middle region will be open so the light will be passed from that middle region because it is open because the remaining region will be closed the surrounding region will be very closed so by this you can understand that uh, in the principle in the principle what it has said you the dark region will say sorry the background region will be very dark so by this only you can understand why the why the background region will be very dark because of this obstructor and here obstructor plays a major role as opaque disc so that's only the reason we will use that's only the reason we will use opaque disc here for the obstruction of the light so when you uh, when you use this obstruction that's something but when you use this opaque disc then what happens the light from the middle region the open region will be allowed to fall on the condenser lens so what is the main function of this condenser lens you know right this condenser lens will condense the light you know it it uh, it gathers the light from the different position and brings out to this uh, you know brings out to the particular position at the particular point okay up to here 
it brings up to the particular point and that point is nothing but which will be uh, which will be passed to the unstained sample which is placed on a stage and this unstained sample which is absorbed by this light will be visible by the observer when it passes the rays to the objective lens and here objective lens plays a major role because it is trinocular and when you see the microscope then you can understand properly and this objective lens will pass the rays of this you know, light rays of this unstained sample uh, to the eyepiece lens and from the eyepiece lens the observer can be cleanly visible you know clearly visible but uh, if you see in the case of light light microscope or else, or else bright field microscope the image formation will not be very clear but if you see in the case of dark field microscope the image formation will be very clear because we are using opaque disk as obstruction here but in the case of uh, bright field microscope are not using any obstruction that's nothing but we are not using any opaque disc so that's only the reason why the dark field microscopy is very much uh, you know very much essential and so that it it forms a clear image okay uh, so coming to the precautions so in, in the precautions what you have to remember is that the parts of the microscope like slide stage nose and the light source all of these all of these parts should be free from dust because it if it is not free from dust then the observer will also observe the particles which are present in the which is present as the dust molecules when it will be placed in the or else when it will be placed in the objective lens or else when it will be placed in the stage or else in the condenser then the observer will also will also has a capacity to visible this uh, dust particles also through microscope because there is the presence of dust so it, to prevent that you have to clean each and every part of the microscope here in the dark field microscopy and next do not use oil or water on the condenser or slide so if you put oil or oil uh, or water on the condenser then what happens immediately if the bubbles will be formed so due to the presence of that bubbles what happens is that uh, the image will be not formed clearly you know the degradation of the image take play, takes place and decreases the contrast so what is the best to use what is the main advantage of this dark field microscopy it forms a clear contrast but in the case of dark uh, bright field microscopy the clear contrast of the image will not be formed because we are not using opaque disc in the bright field microscopy but in this case we are using opaque disc and so that, that that's only the reason the contrast will be clearly visible but if you pour oil or water then what happens it forms air bubbles right so when this air bubbles will form then the decrease of the contrast of the image takes place so you have to not insert the air or uh, sorry you know you have to not insert oil or water such that it de it uh, it degrades the function of this opaque disc so that's only the main precaution of this dark field microscopy so coming to the uses of this dark field microscopy so i have said you that it forms high contrast and clear image because of the presence of opaque disc which acts as obstruction for the light source and next life detection of the organisms that's nothing but here i have said you that unstained sample is nothing but live organisms you know the organisms which are alive which are alive which are not in death but if you see in the case of bright field microscope we are using specimens which are dead which are dead that's nothing but the stained samples we are using stained samples in bright field microscope where i have you know you know about the staining process right staining process nothing but they will use light in such a way that that light will produce heat and due to the presence of that heat what happens is that the microorganism will get killed so that killed microorganism will be used in the bright field microscope whereas in the case of dark field microscope uh, you know the 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 sample will be directly extracted and it will be placed on the stage right so here we are using unstained sample that's nothing but live detection you know the organism uh, which is alive only you can see the you can see its movement you or else if you place any amoeba there you can see its movement amoeba movement right the and the discovery of the amoeba movement also been takes place and i also explained the video in the in, in previous videos you can watch the previous videos of the amoeba movement the link will be given in the description box so the live detection of the microorganisms takes place uh, you know you can see in the case of dark field microscopy but in the case of bright uh, bright field microscopy you cannot see this live detection you can only see the uh, you can only see the clear image if sorry you can only see the uh, blood image of the dead sample that's nothing but specimen so here this dark field microscopy is simple and effective and here what type of microorganisms which you can see here are tissue culture extraction of tissue culture so normally smears smears will be extracted from this tissue culture and the smears will be uh, placed on this stage which acts as unstained sample and here light source plays a major role in such a way that observer will find the clear image of that smear of the tissue culture and here water burn will be used and water burn is nothing but uh, you know it is a it is a microorganism which will be extracted from the contaminated water and that microorganism will be placed in this stage and the observer will be observed by this light source and single cell microorganisms will also be placed on this stage and like this these these are the these are the just examples of the microorganisms which are mainly used for the purpose of this dark field microscopy so this is about the dark field microscopy so now let us look up on the images how the images will be formed in the presence of dark field microscopy